Hi everyone, myself Navyata Ravi, working as assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about triggers and active databases. The overview of presentation includes what is a trigger and general format of trigger, active databases. So, let us discuss first about triggers. So, what is a trigger? Triggers in SQL are the statements that are automatically executed when there is any change in the database. That is in general sense, let us discuss this one with an example. If I am delivering my lecture in the class, if any of the students disturbed me, if any of the students disturbed me, then I used to trigger, right? Hey, why you are disturbing me? Right? If at all, in the same sense, any, any action or else, whatever the action that we are going to do on the database, then it must be triggered. How we can able to uh, identify that triggering? That is what the concept here we, we used to know, right? So, here triggers are the SQL statements that are automatically executed when there is any change in the database, right? So, the triggers are executed in response to certain events. That means, whenever the triggers will be executed, if at all, we used to do something with the database. Whatever the actions that we used to perform to the database, either insertion or deletion or update. These are nothing but which comes under DML, DML actions, DML commands, right? So, by, by, by considering or by executing these commands, the trigger will be executed or activated, right? So, these triggers helps in maintaining the integrity of data by changing the data of the database in systematic fashion. What is the meaning of this one? So, how the triggers uh, can be initiated, if at all we used to do any action, either insert or update or delete. So, if at all we used to do in a systematic fashion, then it will be fine. If at all uh, we used to violate the rules, then what will happen? So, then that is what the thing, the trigger will notify. Right? No, you must not do this kind of actions or you must not, just like in the previous lecture, what the check option will do, it will check. It will check whatever the uh, data that we are going to give even before inserting the data. The same thing even before inserting whatever the action to the database, trigger will be executed. So, trigger will be executed even before the action to be taken or after the action to be taken, right? That is what the thing. Next, the general format of trigger includes event, condition and action. So, we will discuss these three in detail. What is event, right? What is the condition and what is the action? And the syntax here, how to create a trigger by using create command, create trigger, here the trigger name. So, when this trigger will be executed, either before or after, before insertion or after insertion, before deletion or after deletion before updation or after updation. So, that is what the thing here. So, we used to create a trigger. So, when the trigger will going to activate, that will be represented in this one. Next, on which table, right, on which table. So, on the table name, whether the trigger will be activated for each row, that will be represented in this one for each row and the trigger body. This is what the syntax. Now, let us discuss so, the syntax in detail. So, what is here by using create trigger? So, this command we used to create a trigger. So, these two keywords specify that trigger is block is going to be declared. And to create this trigger, we have to give a particular name for this particular trigger. So, to it creates or replaces an existing trigger. So, create or if at all we use create trigger, create trigger, trigger name. For example, NAV, this is my trigger name. I am going to create a trigger first time or else newly. Then I can use create command, right? So, if at all I want to, if at all I want to update my trigger or else replace my trigger name, then I use the keyword create or replace trigger. I use the keyword create or replace trigger. Why? Because already the trigger name has been existing. I want to replace that one. So, what is the keyword that I have to use? Create or replace trigger, right? So, create or replace trigger for existing triggers. 
if at all you are going to create a new trigger then simply you can write create trigger trigger name so here the trigger name should be unique the trigger name should be unique next before or after so whether we have to activate this trigger before the action or after the action here action means what three types of action insertion updation deletion these are the three things that we we used to perform with the database so so here before of it specifies when the trigger will be initiated when this trigger this we have created this trigger right so when the trigger will be initiated either before or after that will be specified here so before our ongoing event or a after ongoing event next insert update these are the operations whenever we used to perform dml operations then only any of the dml operations then only the trigger will be activated that is what the definition of trigger what is a trigger it is an event which is automatically executes whenever the uh, dml operations has been performed to the database so here these are the dml operations and we can use either any of them and at which um, on which table we used to perform this trigger these are the these kind of operations how we can able to check on which table here the table name must be specified for each row row level trigger gets executed when any row value of the column changes next trigger body it consists of queries that need to be executed the, the trigger body which consists of the queries that need to be executed when trigger is called whenever the trigger is called the number of queries will be executed that will be represented in trigger body this is what the syntax so let us discuss this one with a simple example let us uh, take this example student table which consists of what student id name address and marks right so here i wa i want to create a trigger i want to create a trigger before updation right or else before inserting inserting a new row so whenever i want to insert a row if at all i used to give here 100 marks i want to insert a row 100 right by using for example 4 xyz and here uh, telangana right telangana and marks is nothing but 100 i am going to create this trigger and what is my trigger specialty is i am going to give condition whenever the marks i am going to insert here plus 100 must be added automatically to the marks given plus 100 must be added automatically to the marks given that is my motive right so how we can able to create a trigger like this already this is an existing table next from this onwards whenever i am going to insert a new row i am going to give some marks for that marks i have to add 100 automatically then how i am going to create a trigger right so here let us discuss this one create trigger see here what i am going to add i am going to add marks right so add marks that is my trigger name this is what my trigger name what i am doing before insertion only i am i am going to activate this trigger right so here i am going to give before insert before why because in the previous slide here i am going to represent xyz telangana 100 this is my data and what i am going to tell for this marks extra 100 marks must be added automatically this is my main motive for this whatever whatever the trigger i am going to create create trigger trigger name trigger name is nothing but i am going to add marks so before insertion before insertion only i have to add marks right so here before insert on which table on the student table on the student table only i am going to create trigger right on student table for each row for each and every row i am going to activate this trigger that is what my intention so here for each row set set new dot marks is equal to new, whatever the marks that i am going to insert here by using new operator right so whatever the marks i am going to insert here i want to add plus 
that is what the condition I am going to represent. So, in this way we have to create a trigger. Then what will be the output here? What will be the output? So, after creating a trigger, we will write the query for inserting a new student. For example, we have to create this trigger first. First of all, we used to create table. Next step is to create trigger. And next step is to insert this into this table, student table. I want to insert one new row. That is what? Eliza Maldives 110. Instead of Eliza Maldives 110, here I have represented some XYZ, Telangana and 100 in the above example. So, if at all I want to insert these values, then what will be the output? What will be the output? Eliza Maldives will be added and here instead of 110 plus 100 will be added automatically. How? Right. By, why? Because we have, we have mentioned here the marks must be added plus 100. That is the reason here the marks will be given as 210 which already I have mentioned as 110 plus 100 will be added automatically. Why? Because we have already mentioned in the trigger even before insertion. That is the reason automatically for this marks 100 will be added and it will be displayed. So, to see this output we use select asterisk from students. What is this asterisk meant for? Asterisk meant for the whole information. Right. So, the table will be printed. This is the newly added row and here automatically the trigger will be activated. So, in this manner we used to uh, represent the triggers. Next coming to active databases. Active databases. Active databases is a database consisting of set of triggers. Right. So, here just I have represented the introduction part of triggers. That too with one example. Before insertion. We can take after insertion. Right. That is also to check whether the given data is correct or not. We can take number of examples. Next, what are the active databases here? So, active databases are the databases consisting of set of triggers. So, these databases are very difficult to be maintained because the complexity that arises in understanding the effect of these triggers. It is very complex task, right? So, in such database, DBMS initially verifies whether a particular trigger is specified in a statement that modifies the database is activated or not prior to the executing the statement. Just like that, it will not accept, but DBMS initially verifies whether the particular trigger has been working correctly or not. Next, if the trigger is active, then DBMS executes the condition part. If the trigger gets executed, active, then DBMS execute the condition part and then execute the action part. Here we have what? Event, condition and action. These are the three parts. Right in trigger, event, condition, ECA. Event, condition, action. So, if at all this event has been triggered, activated, then it executes, it is come to condition part. Then action part. If the condition is true, then only the action part will going to be takes place. That is the thing. Next, so it is possible to activate more than one trigger with a single statement. So, we can able we can able to activate more than one triggers by using a single statement. So, in such situation, DBMS process each of the trigger randomly, not sequentially, in DBMS can activate the triggers randomly. Next, the execution of an action part of a trigger may either activate other triggers or the same trigger that initialized this action. Such type of triggers that activates itself is called as recursive trigger. The trigger that activates itself, that is what we call as recursive trigger. The DBMS executes such chains of triggers in some predefined manner, but it affects the concept of understanding. Next, what are the features of active databases? So, here it possesses all the concepts of conventional databases that is data modeling, facilities, next query languages, etc. It supports all the functional and traditional databases like data definition, data manipulation, DDL, DML commands, DCL, TCL commands and everything, storage management concepts. It supports definition and management of ECA rules. What is ECA? 
you see a event condition and action next if at all event is uh, uh, activated then only we used to go for condition part if at all condition is true then the action will be act executed next it, it detects event occurrence it must be able to evaluate conditions and to execute actions it means that it has to implement a rule execution that is what the thing and we have different types of active databases what are those active databases real time databases in memory databases transactional databases time series databases these are some of the examples of active databases and next what are the advantages of active databases which enhances traditional database functionalities with powerful rule processing capabilities that means it act actually this is an advantage by what is the maintenance of active data but it is somewhat little bit complex why because it contains a set of triggers right so enable a uniform and centralized description of business rules relevant to the information system and it avoids redundancy of checking and repair operations what is meant by redundancy here maintaining the same data right so that is what which avoids redundancy of checking and repair operations suitable platform for building large and efficient knowledge based expert systems so this is what about the advantages of databases active databases right so till now what we have discussed in this session in this session we have discussed about the trigger what is a trigger trigger is nothing but uh, which is an event which can be executed automatically right by the dbms whenever the event has been executed then it will go to the conditional part and next uh, the action part next what is uh, uh, the syntax of the trigger the syntax of the trigger and next we have discussed some examples right and next we have discussed about the active databases and the features of active databases advantages of active databases so these are the concepts that we have discussed in this session right thank you